Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears broadcast. I'm your host and caster, Skepter, and joining me in the booth today is my main man, Sin Stuff. How are you doing tonight, Joey? Doing great, man. Just looking forward to this awesome game. Really excited and pumped for this match. Oh, yeah. We got the Golden Bears starting out on the defender side here, taking on Blue Gold B, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So, should be an interesting one. Best of three action tonight. First map on the cards will be Fracture. And, you know, we've been playing a lot and working with uh, these players on the side of the Golden Bears over the last few days, Joey. And I'd have to say that we've been seeing some some vast improvement amongst uh, the roster. Oh, absolutely. Uh, just picking it apart and looking at each individual player kind of fitting into a role now. Um, some fast picks right off the bat from our uh, awesome Bears here. We've got... Looks like a Viper. Sentinels looking at Chamber. Double Initiator. That's a really common pick. Seems like that's been really the meta, of, honestly, up in the competitive scene. And it's looking like our team's going to try and duplicate that on their end. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think KO has been uh, finding a very nice, comfortable home in the meta recently here. It's spiked up a lot in the professional play. I mean, Got to give a shout out to Zelsis. I think he's been the best KO at the professional <laughs> play for a little bit now, and it shows. I mean, they two owed Sentinels yesterday. Oh, yeah, Some that was an exciting match KO to watch. Play. Yeah, man. So Goosey going to try to do his best V1 impression here tonight as we get things underway. I'm excited, and I'm looking forward to this best of three. You know, the Golden Bears have been trying to turn around their, their season now for a little bit. Got off to a rough start, but I definitely have seen the improvements that we've been talking about, and hopefully they can produce on the maps tonight, folks. Both teams on a losing overall record. One and four for the Golden Bears, and a Blue Gold Bees, Eau Claire, Wisconsin at a one and three. So rank-wise, I'd say this is a pretty even matchup that we have, and we should have a very tight best of three on our hands tonight. Send stuff. Yeah. It's looking like an exciting match is underway. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the Bears can uh, turn around their loss streak. But you know, I'm seeing some nice Viper utility over on A from uh, is it elusive? Elusive there. Yes, sir. Yep. Looks like two on A site, three on B. Early KO knife. Looking to see if they can get some intel. Yeah, not going to spot anything. So surely given some warning signs over to that A site, nobody even eyeing at that drop position. So Golden Bears surely going to have some hair standing up on the back of their necks as spotted players at the A main mark. Nice pickup from Elusive Elephants as he gets flashed off from A main. Push coming in from drop. Ray's trying to hold it down. Smokes will rain down onto the A site. Nice dink coming out from Elusive. Finds his second of the round. And a follow-up shot from Porg. It's all Golden Bears here on the pistol remaining. round. They're just wiping them out here. Flawless first round. Excellent shots from Elusive. Way to pick it up, too, from the chamber there. That one way was just deadly, man. Yeah, man. I didn't know what to you do know, there. That was perfect utility placement. Shout out to Elusive Elephants on that one. Going to be coming out with the full house. Him and Porg wiping the early offensive wave from Eau Claire. 1-0 lead the way of CSP and an excellent way to start out this BO3 for the side of the Golden Bears. Let's go. Certainly is a strong start to this match. Let's look if they can uh, make something happen here in this second round. We do have some guns. Really nice. KO knife catches the chamber. No utility on flank. Very defensive start here from both sides. Not too much aggression coming out from the attacker side. Looking smart as a Worthless with the flash. He's got one. Picks him up with Fusey's help. That's good noise team play. going from the attacker side. Swinging on each other's contact. That was good play from the side of CSP, but the attacker is cutting that sound in now. Leaving the defense the up in thought. Viper anchoring down this A site. Good knife from Goosey. Going to get taken out fast, though. So, Golden Bears have to be weary of this push out from the B main. Goosey holding it down. Spotted out chamber. Nice nade from Akira. Going to chip away at this first push. 
Two players spotted as Goosey swings out and takes contact. Will drop the first. Three attackers remain. Out. Worthless taking out another. And CSP left. doing an excellent job so far since stuff. Oh, yeah. We've got 30 seconds left in this round. Goosey's already found his I'm second. We're down to two attackers. I don't believe we got the spike down, did we? Nope, but one more gets spotted out B main. Ooh, one arcade as we well. We know that others arcade. It's coming down to the wire. They've got 10, 10 seconds, seconds to push in. One enemy Goosey remaining. Worthless picking up Flawless. the last picks. Yeah, dangerous utility there for a second. I was starting to shake in my boots watching that sky pull out the flash, but it, in the end, cleaning it up nicely. No deaths the way of CSP. Bunch of donuts on the death counter, and that's something that you love to see early on for the Golden Bears. Yeah, two flawless rounds right in a row. Can't really expect much else after winning that first round, but it certainly is a great way to start this round, start this match. For sure. Now, the coveted bonus round. This is one of the tougher rounds to claim here on Valorant. Up against the full rifle buy, can the Golden Bears find a cheeky way to get a solid initiation into this round? Number three. Good utility coming out from Worthless Dog. Not going to tag anything up at Arcade, but lots of attackers spotted. Goosey will start out the round with the first blood. The flash to follow. Spike being planted quickly. A nice angle for Akira. Can't find the shots, though. Let's getting picked up in arcade. No trade coming out. Or trying to find an angle here, something to work with. He knows one's arcade. He knows they're tucked in tower. I can't. Able to find one on site. A second, in a second. Two it's players to remain. Up to elusive and Porg here to pinch tower. Somehow get this bomb. Last player dead. One enemy remaining. Oh, oh so close. That last pick. Excellent picks from CSP. Tough round to win. If you Dude, but the economy damage. damage. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you bring that down to a 1v1 in the end of it. Good trades coming out the way of CSP. Porg doing an excellent job getting that two piece on the front of sight, man. That first shot on the sight player. And then the follow up from B main. That's good range kill with the Spectre in hand. So CSP getting out to a very nice start. And now with a serious weapon advantage going into this round. Toxins going up. Full rifles in hand and elusive getting aggressive Here. towards a main. Sheriff early. Coming up all takes out that boom bot. They know they have to don't deal with that. Or they don't have to deal with that later, excuse me. Toxins screen down. Elusive falling back with the smoke screen going down. They already got the info they needed. They hear the raise. <laughs> Ooh, good entry and for just to get up there. into ropes. And that's tough. Yeah, close of entry. Another as well. The Rays opening things up for Eau Claire. Worth a spinal trade one back. A swing for elusive. Not going to happen. Get shut down. 2v4. And it's CSP left outside the door. Lucy coming for drop. Planted. Worth a little rhyming action we got in there. There you go. Nothing at sand, man. I was trying to find this pick. What an angle. Last Shots player don't standing. Land. Goosey goes down as well. A 1v4. Gonna be tough or worthless. Finds one, but not gonna be enough. CSP down again. 2v2 now on the scoreboard. Money gonna be going back the way of Eau Claire. A great round for the attackers. Yeah, it was certainly well played. They didn't want to take that too fast. Big entries from Ray's. Really hard to collapse back on that with a Sage Wall stuck, you know, blocking yeah. you off from CP, keeping you stuck in CT. Yeah. No, good try. CSP on the eco now. What kind of damage can they do? I'd love to see him go for a bit of an aggressive play, and they have a B stack right now. Spotted B main. You're able to spot Chamber. one out and B main. Takes a shot at him. Not sure if that would hit. Towards arcade, trying not to get flanked here. Good Worthless shot for Worthless. Pick. Oh, that raise up in the arcade. tower. Ah. Gonna find the entry again, man. Massive stuff coming on this raise. The entries have been there. Worthless with another tag, doing tons of damage with that marshal in this round. Smokes will come down once again. Elusive elephants and pork playing behind planted. them. 
one with the ghost, one with the marshal. will not kill my And the allies. res coming out for good Jumps measure from the side of Eau Claire. That's tough. Makes this run that much harder for the Golden Bears to get back into it. Shots coming in from Arcade. Elusive trying to find an angle. Nothing getting away yet. Eau Claire will drop Already two. Elusive. Finding one each. 2v2. The, the clock is ticking away. They have to pick up the pace here. Ball's going down. Player standing. Can't find it. No. Dalton finding his third. Good finish for the side of Eau Claire. But good damage as well for CSP. I the eco round, you take out three, Elite and now you're back on the buy. So, Absolutely. have to find some success here. Four ultimates up on each side. This is surely going to be a hectic round we have on our hands. CSP with all the defenses they could ask for. The Vipers pit if they need it. The Sky Seekers for info and the KO ulti to completely hold the team out from a perfect execute. But on the counter side, they have to worry about that breach ultimate. Such a good entry with that breach ultimate map, especially on this map. You clear out so many angles. Ooh, spotted towards A main. Spotted. Footsteps. Get stunned. Showstopper top of the It goes underneath his feet! Oh my goodness! That... Yeah, I mean, here has got to be counting his lucky stars after that one. The Brimstone ulti. Forcing it to lose the velvet. Offsite. No more Viper. Kira finds another. What a massive round from this raise. Finds another tilt drop. On for the ace now. The teenage from Goosey. A little bit of an oopsie. He's gonna you tap know, the bomb and poor gonna blast. find the bang. Beautiful pickup from the side of CSP, man. Got a little She's bit right? tight there for a second, but bouncing back nicely. Man, how does that rocket miss, Akira? The luckiest player on the Golden Bears squad, man. Surely life flashed before his eyes on that one. He was stunned too. That was the best part. The breach stun had just caught him, so there's no nothing he can do. There but he blessed up. He was really caught there, but thick. I swear. Uh, yeah, that went between his legs, kill. man. I swear. Or maybe oh, yeah, to the right. Went. That was yeah, so just close. Right past his head. I sure if we got an instant replay camera or something, that would just be. Death staring you in the face. <laughs> and that leads to a round win for the Golden Bears. I mean, it's crazy how I know, you know, down you want to play. play. Let's play. Ooh, the Tour de Force out early for the side of Blue Gold. Do they set up for this breach ult? Or are they looking for that first pick? Be raise and breach on our side. Let's chip away at health. Time to hunt. Sage was over I really like how he backs up before using the utility. Scout destroyed. Excellent positioning on the defender side. Not taking things too fast, over peaking, over committing. Big pick up from Borg. Chamber dip. And Borg gonna find another. Go on, my man. 5v3 and a third for Borg. Let's go. Finding the shots looking like a demon on this chamber. Now up on site, what more do you have? Now he's hungry. Yeah, man, this is this is a bloodthirsty park. We don't see this quite often, but now channels the rendezvous back to the One A enemy site. Remaining. Goes Worthless will clean up number four. Just Brimstone, or I mean Sage remaining now. Left. And the Golden Bears with five up. A great round number seven here for the side of CSP. This round's been pretty one-sided, it feels. The Sage manages to find one. 12 seconds left. Can you find another? 10 seconds left. Does he go for the save? Was underneath at that Works B site. Lucy will take him out. Good stuff from the side of CSP. They're nothing but flies. Yep, an exciting round. Fast at the beginning, slowed it down. Big picks from Goosey. Yeah, putting on Porg having a crazy good round there. Oh yeah. Finding all kinds of shots. 
right she over that nice. sage wall too. That's such a you know headshot angle to play. Yep. The attackers had a little less faith in that, and, you know, possibly kept their eyes towards Jen or Canteen. That could have certainly gone both ways. Got three leaning over towards A site. Got our available. Not gonna spot anything. That Viper's Massive. pit and the Tour de Force available for CSP. Here's them running up dish. Spots one in A main. Orb's going down. Poison's off. Stun out from Breach. Are they gonna go for the double blast back? Here's the rope. Secure up thick as the entry. Finding a second. Lucid Elephant picking up the third. Breach one enemy remaining. Orb's the ball. Well, Huge shots. Dish. Huge shots, man. Poor get 12 and 3 right now. I mean, come this on. Hard, Standing in between like us and victory. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, this is CSP very good team play. Positive on the KDs. Fun, thank you. And timeout coming out. There. Certainly been an interesting match so far. Yeah, I'd rounds say. Uh, have been shutouts, but. Most of the other ones, they're finding the picks they need to find, trading out immediately after those entries come out. I love the three stack towards A and having one in ropes for that predictable race, double blast pack. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, CSP have definitely been adapting nicely on this defensive side so far. Been finding ways to shut down Eau Claire's offensive pushes time and time again. I want to see uh, some ultimates probably used once we get back from this timeout. Keep the pressure on them. You have a three-man ultimate advantage. You know, you could look to go aggressive maybe with the showstopper if they please. So we'll have to see when we get back from this break. But Blue Gold definitely feeling the pressure of the Golden Bears so far, calling for the tactical timeout. And hopefully coming into this one with a fresh strategy there. for the side of CSP. We'll have to see. That works. And Porg setting up towards A now. So switching up where he's been playing. I like that. That's a good spot. Definitely a good Don't sign for your chamber. Moving around, keeping the opposition guessing. Yep, some good util usage. I like trips clip. out on A. Don't have to worry quite so much about dish. No early aggression from the attackers. Worthless, finding a nice pick. Spots out a second in E main. The knife is out, doesn't pick anyone up. Attack is cutting noise. <laughs> Appreciate you. I love Kira. the Z pack. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and Goosey gonna finding follow the, it up. Yep, finding the entry. Gets traded out by Dalton, though. Four on three. CSP with the one man advantage. Still three ultimates at their disposal. Walls out. Or trying to find a sneaky pick. I need a smoke. Dalton trying to pick Spike from Arcade. Planted. One enemy remaining. Spike planted B. It's down to one. Worthless on his third. Looking for the 4K. Wait for elusive or go for Feeling the over here. Seek them out. Seekers are out. Seekers. In the 2v1. Ooh, a dink. A dink. Beautiful. And an easy headshot from elusive to follow it up. Yeah, I really like that play. Worthless did get patient, found out where the player's location was, Don't and pops the Seekers to buy some time man. for the flank from Elusive. CSP take care of the round nicely and secure the off like as cut, they reap the reward. So, excellent play from both sides, but CSP still out edging the competition here so far. Still two ultimates available for them, but now the attackers have that breach ultimate along with the brimstone slash sage resurrection. So definitely some things they have to worry about coming up in this next round here, Send. For certain. Most commonly I see the brioche towards B. Worthless switching up his sight. We're gonna see if they take it towards A. Might be able to get one out of the And he well, does! Wow, read the future there. <laughs> no breach all to worry about. Down to a res. Nice pick. You will not res is going to So a lot of utility used to save that player and a nice pick from Worthless. Pressure hey, now towards drop. Off. Or gear some A main as well. So, so ooh, Worthless going to find another. Elusive to follow. Escape the ult and pick up the chamber, pushing from drop. All alts out from the attackers. What do they have left? 
One enemy remaining. Surely running out of options here. Last player at drop. Korg spraying through the smoke. CSP man advantage. 4v1 here. Looking for 7 for his 4k. Who goes down. Dalton, nice shots coming out of this brimstone, man. Definitely been stepping up for this attacker side. 30 seconds now left. CSP Seen just have to wait. From Dalton. Really making his presence known in arcade. Top shots off the dish. Ooh, finds Borg. the pick on Borg. Wishing he had that so one back. Chipped away. You hear him coming That's up stands. He's got 14 seconds. 10 seconds left. Um, and then he's gonna find it. You say uh, Kobe to that. <laughs> That's uh, weapon choice. It is so personal. If you rock him on this side, beautiful stuff. Nice utility. The paint shells ringing out for Akira there, closing it out. Seven three lead the way the Golden Bears, and they are putting in work on this defense side here in Fracture. I must say, I'm impressed. Yeah, I've got to, I've got to agree with you. I can curse seven and three on a defense side. Can they make it nine three? You know, Let's that would be it. truly remarkable. Worthless has been doing some excellent work with that Why operator here so me? far. Absolutely. And the Viper hold on A is just so strong. How do you work around that one way? That's the answer that the attackers wish they knew. Uh, because frankly, they've been struggling this entire half here. As they consistently come back oh, to this A site. But the success hasn't been there. Now switching things up and going aggressive with the Breach Ultimate. Stunned up on the backside court, turning around, will drop the enemy chamber. Now stuck in a 1v3, will go down 2v4. CSP on the retake. Sage wall is up. Worthless trying to find a pick through the door. And no one's dished, Molly's out. Flash out the door. Breach picking up another. It's all down to Goosey. That's a good round throw player. That's his feet. And the one feet for him. The clash. Ooh, Goosey. Goosey, but he goes down to the sage. Man, I like the idea. The quick pop Last flash for himself. Full blinds, two Where's enemies drops them both, but that's, that's the thing. It's a 1v4. There's four other targets trying to find you. Good attempt nonetheless. 7 4 here. Either looking at your 7-5 or your 8-4. CSP will be in the lead either way. Sounds like a good half to me. Let's go off this scoreboard here. 13-6 for Porg. 12-6 worthless. 10-7 for Elusive Elephants. Goosey sitting at the 8-5. And Akira at 6-6 here. Great start for the Golden Bears though. Looking to take this last round of the first half here. Game number one in this BO3 action. Nothing spotted at A main. Operator out for Worthless again. He's been causing problems for these attackers here since stuff. The Viper's Pit called in on the A site, so trying to shut down any looks at the A bomb site here. Like this early Viper's Pit. Forcing the attackers to take their minds off of A. It's a hard take. The breach stuns out. Worthless trying to find this pit. Downwind. Finds one. There's the for the push, and they just need a second. Chambers up in tower. Akira on the flank. I don't think they're ready for this. Spike yep. planted. Big pickup. Going for the glass pack peak. Straight out by Sage. Standing. You Gonna will res. not kill my allies. Finding the res up in tower. Will they repeat this? Four shots in the operator. One in main, one in tower. Poor gonna have to make his move quickly here. Has the wall from main though. One enemy remaining. Finding the breach. Ooh. Time is ticking. The wall this is breaking. Is less than ideal. Sticking it to half. Oh. 10 10. Not gonna ready swing for the out. Swing. It's a good try. The attacker side. Switching sides. Oh, 7 5. Oh. Yeah, you know. Good half. Nonetheless, CSP doing a great job there on the defense. Now, what do they have to offer on this attacking side? Have to come out with a bang. They can really jump out to a 9-5 lead, which would be quite superb. Thinking about an A wall 
off the bat here. There's like that by Bray problem. Wall. It's looking like possibly a split, an A split. Yeah. I do like that wall that Loose of Elephants is lining up though. Nice little coverage for ropes and coverage for CT. Yes, sir. Oh, some beautiful wall work. Nice paint the utility to keep the A push away. Toxins going up. You know the wall's up. Raise no nade. Breach flashes out. Are they gonna push that door? Doesn't look like it. What's this already up at drop? Boombot, both flashes gone. No raise nade. Breach clearing out the main. It's a full shootout in A main. Yeah, man. Absolute they wild west scenario. We're just tapping away from drop. Spike down, attacker spawn. Last wow, Dalton did Minus not three. just do that. Has been the player to watch from this O player side the whole time. Worth is going to find another no in a 1v3, 100 HP to his name. One player spotted towards Sand. Spike is down, so going to have to retrieve it. 45 seconds and counting. Clock starts now. Knife out for the moment. Not gonna find anything for the door. Here's the reload behind him. Will fall down to 22 HP. Seven bullets taken away. 30 seconds left. Give him something to shoot at. Will take another head. Now three on the round. 20 seconds running out of time. Not gonna happen. 7 6 scoreline. One round lead the way of the Golden Bears. Okay, which gun to pick this time? I really like those picks though. Those picks were looking nice from uh, Worthless there. Good shots. Aim is on point. That was great utility usage though by uh, Euclair, keeping them out of A main. They heard it coming, they saw it coming, yeah. the wall went up, and they just didn't know what to do once that nade came out and the breach flashes got everyone blind. Yup. Man, what about Dalton holding that B main push? Oh, absolutely. Silencing three Golden Bears members, that was tough. And Difficult. that's been the, the lead playmaker for the side of Eau Claire so far. switch it up here they know they're committing a lot of utility towards that a main walking it up dish they've met no resistance other than the sage wall Ooh, that's tough wait it out yeah they're waiting at least 20 seconds here if they're doing that worthless looking towards b site trying to sell this fake they hear one rotate off towards ct they've got two options break the wall or wait for it to Drop and it's about to flash, flash comes out. Teammates. The wall is up. They're out on site. Blue for a main go down. Fox is low. The wall is going down. The bomb's going down. Last the player comes standing. In. Finally gets marked. Oh, Good plan. Yeah, good plant. You know, your your plan for the eco, your plan for the plant, just for any kind of bonus, wanting to pull by your utility into the next round. So, going to be tied up at seven apiece. Good retake from the side of Eau Claire, but met with minimal resistance. Rocking the classics for the side of CSP. So, going to bounce back here with the full inventory. Going to be seeing the Phantoms or the Vandals coming out on this attacking side. And I really want to see them switch up the pace here, you know. This is your first round. This is where you make a statement. Your first time buying rifles on the second half of the map. So surely you have to make your mark on this round and the Golden Bears instantly lining up over towards B main at Arcade and I like it. Isolate Chamber trips are down for the flank and this should be an excellent start to this round here. You're looking to get aggressive here with a fast clear towards A main. Marshall from the Marshall chamber. Missing its mark. Nate is out. Woo! Ooh, a good tap. Generator. Quick and easy. Get out of here, chamber. Worthless yeah, finding a second in arcade. Big entries, and that's what I wanted to see, man. Big spike in the tempo. Akira satcheling in very quickly. And now CSP in a two man advantage, holding it down, looking out towards Jenny and Canteen. Wall is up, stun is out. 
Tiger comes out. Tag from Porg's motion sensor towards that B flank. So. UT will take another out. And CSP really cleaning up the play in round number three of the second half here. Gonna have to get out before the explosion of the spike, though. One enemy remaining. Flawless. Ooh, Akira. That making it happen find a three Reloading. great round coming out from the rays on the side of the golden bears absolutely three massive picks those entries were just so fast so quick creating space doing the okay. duelist job love the utility usage and the follow-ups just very coordinated efforts for the bears certainly is uh nice to see it going smoothly on their end who will I yeah. go first? Now, also, hopping back into it, there will be a full buy met on the defensive side. So, Shut Golden Bears down. definitely going to have it, their work cut out for them moving into this round here. They start back towards Bring the main. Be aggression. Elusive, keeping his eye on the flank. There's a gap in the trademark, but will it be spotted? Seek some out! Kira, Kira looking, looking out. towards Jen. Seekers are out. They're blocked by the wall, but they find their marks on A. Fire Three players on A. Three players out. The, golden the call is made. Oh, Chamber Akira, drop. Big pick. Nice entry again from Akira, man. Making it happen right now on this offensive side. Goosey will fall in CT. Now a four on four tied up in the numbers as we get it underway. The Tiger called out for Worthless. Spots two players towards Generator. Kira stunned up in tower, trying to help out. He made elusive on site, smoked off as well. Elusive's gonna have to go huge here. Last player standing. Oh, can't find anything and then he drops like that. Horde gonna drop as well. And my oh my, what a retake coming out from Blue Gold, Eau Claire. Man, that was clean. Back, man. Absolutely, that was a clean round for them. I'll shut them down. Good, okay. good entries from the Bears, and certainly good information coming out from those Sky Seekers. But I think just finding some sort of entry into the CT to keep them out of the site for the retake, or catching someone on a rotate. Yeah. The only other way that that could have gone better. Yeah, they just needed to set up some sort of a crossfire for those players coming out of that CT position. They kind of had them off the site, rotated away, and then just not able to finalize on the post plant. But now, right back into it with another competitive buy. The Viper Wall getting lined up now over towards the A site. We go, but Breach doing an excellent job of holding down this really A main control. Wall on the back side. Reach and raise, getting suppressed. Time to hunt. Oh, and aggression comes out. Lower sights clear. They know where to be. Spike down. Oh my Age. goodness, that Our angle. From the wall. Dude, that's a nasty angle. I can't say I've seen a sage up that high towards I was drop about before. To say the same thing. That's remarkable play. Very creative on their part. And that's, you know, the dog has that lower uh, field of view. You know, it's down closer to the ground, so not going to be able to spot out that Sage who plays it nicely, just waits, lets the dog pass, and then punishes the side of CSP. Now in a one-on-three, Goosey. Does he have the clutch gene in him? 35 seconds and counting. A Brimstone Ultimate available for the defenders. 30 seconds left. Has to make the move. Flashbang. Flash the through. smoke. Does he catch anyone? Not gonna be able to get it. Well played from the defense. Nine eight. The way of Eau Claire. Anyone and this one's speech? coming down to the wire here, Sen. There. Yeah, we're certainly there. trading rounds out. Approaching. Dreaded thirteen. CSP on a force buy, or a light buy at that. Yeah. All the money's Money. good on the defender side. There. Yeah, this towards me to see now. if they can make anything happen. Some ultimates available in a frenzy. 
not worth it unless you can find an opener into the round. So Marshall's going to have to ring out for Akira and Worthless here. Viper all going to be committed early and Worthless will start it out nicely, dropping the Brimstone. And that's a big pick to find. Absolutely, and that's a gun down. Chamber TP's out. And a tower, I think. Up. Two Miles, off of Seekers. No, Lucy over here. finding a nice pick with that shorty, making something happen. Dick trading it out for Akira. He's down to a 3v3. They have a breach alt. Will they use it in this retake? I feel like they will. It wouldn't be bad for Goosey to pop his. Oh, prematurely to shut down that kind of push. 3v3. No one's be made. Blinded. Good flash from Worthless. Flashes out from Breach. Oh, Finally, reach coming out. Last player standing. And they're cleared out. You see, finding one. He knows they're not on. No, they must have got on when that yep. uh, yeah, the explosion came out from the, the breach. The only play would have been to push through it, but. Yep. Good try nonetheless. The retakes right now just coming in a little bit stronger for the side of Eau Claire. TSP, not a bad round though. Yeah, not a bad round, but just playing a little bit too defensively, you know, not really in positions to watch the cross. And I think it comes down to that breach ultimate being able to be used on the retake. You got to yeah, pop absolutely. that that KO ulti a little bit before that. So they lose that opportunity, right? Once that KO ult's called in, it's that much more of a delay. And then honestly, they don't absolutely. even get onto the site with it. So gonna cost them but now still with a three ults to one and they're gonna go aggressive ko ulti called in off rip gonna follow in the tiger aggressively eight to ten is the score line two he has to come out big ripstone to drop early flash will blind the entry drag good utility come out for the ko gonna find another as well his own molly what a play enemies suppressed excellent entries from goosey here Oh. Showstopper's out, doesn't find anyone, but the damage has been dealt. Worthless, the only one who heals, tucking back behind this Last Viper player ult. standing. That's all down to him. One oh, enemy two. remaining. Finding the save, he flashes out. In play time now. Beautiful play. Another flash in three seconds. Raze knows this is his only shot at securing this win. Pull cat! Flashes out, he's blinded. Off the oh, bomb. perfect play. And Worthless has done it. Wrap a bow on it. It's clean. Clutch. It's mean. It's CSP 910. Ah, Only down yeah, one round here, sorry. folks. Great back and forth you game we have, but CSP okay? have to strike Last again if they want to stay on this course to out. find this first victory here in this PO3 series. And got to give a shout out again to Goosey's KO on those beautiful entries onto the site. And a nice shout out to Worthless clutching it up in the yeah. end of the round there. Great play. The way of the Golden Bears. Come on, let's go! They're giving it their all. It's been a good fight so far. You want far. to play? Let's play. Chamber ops out. Really raising reach. Destroyed. Blinded. Heal up, squad. Really challenging this A main. There. I think for the attackers, they just look away from me, and it seems like that's what they're doing here. But worthless. Going back to pop seekers. Found one. Okay, he's selling the state pick. Flashes out. Three are committed towards B. Found one. Going back. Finding one over on. Pull cat. They're looking to sell this. They're looking to make this happen. Sage finding one on site. Spike down A. Trading out. Elephants. No one's towards CT. They know one's on site. Showstopper out. Doesn't appear all over their site. Flash out. Sage finding one on A. I got the spike. Traded out by Worthless. Prepare for hellfire! Remotes out. Player standing. 30 oh. seconds left. Wow, Dalton. Dalton. Big pick. Wow. I mean, man, what a back and forth oh, round. Could go it either like way. Was, yeah, it looked like it was in favor of. That Brimstone ulti was twice. massive. <laughs> flushed, flushed him out of position. And Dalton. 
making it happen. Tough round to lose. Knowing they're on a save. Yeah. Now, money looking worse for wear on the side of CSP, man. Timeout has been called by the opposing team. You clearly looking to discuss how they close this out. There. I think CSP can do something here, though. There. We've got an op. True, Porg having the tour de force available, but Breach Ultimate is available and they've found success on their recent attacks and usages of that Breach Ultimate. So, going to Here. be on the attacker's doorstep Here. with what they want to do. I mean, sorry, Here. the defender's doorstep. Breach being on the defense side. Tour de force going to have to find some opening picks here for the set of CSP, though. Absolutely, that, the retakes, that's what the Breach Ultimate's been to. Again. The retakes is where it's been so devastating. That's what I was thinking of. It's yeah. the only reason I was thinking of attack. They're four orbs off of a KO ult. Or four picks, however you look at it. They are so dead! Here we go. We're gonna need, forcing up here. Gonna smoke need is down. Something out of Porg, man. Vision. We're gonna need something out of Porg. That's looking to be the hero of the round. Rifles on the Viper and the Sky as well, so... A few different places you can place your eggs in the CSP basket here. Viper walls out. Just inching their way up, B main. Poor trying to find one. Trade match trying walls up. Shader finding his fourth kill, but Akira shutting him down. One on the flank, Horg. Gonna hold this down, the wall's down. Trap destroyed. Nice shot from Porg. Absolutely Gonna ring out, needs oh, another. Oh, Breach ult is out. Horg can still hold the cross though. It's necessary if they want to win this round. Last player dead. Has to go, huge. You here. will not kill my ally! The red's only the red shots left. They're on the bomb. Sticking it surely. The CSP has the luck run out. Match point. So close in some of these rounds, but it just comes down to a little bit lack in the team play. Moments of, you know, having the men advantage and just kind of taking peaks where your teammates can't quite help you. Back against the wall here. That. I you think know, it comes down to that team play and then also how you go about working those post plants because we see them getting the site and they're big yep. opening picks, but after those initial moments and when the bomb's gone down, just a little bit too much of turtling, I feel. Just not enough extending yep. into the attacker side to cut off rotates. Yep. And now struggling from it on match point against themselves here. 9 to 12 scoreline and somebody's gonna have to open up and go big again for the side of CSB but it's not about just going big it's about keeping that advantage Akira to drop to Dalton 4v5 CSP down a man I mean an A main has been nothing nothing from A this has uh, been an, almost an impossible take for the side of CSP the breach utility is just, it's just too easy to use from this position you know it takes so long and we're already down to under a minute and around here and it's you can't break through this running into a wall is what we end up doing here on Boxes match point Porg will find one a 2v4 and now trying to cut their losses 40 seconds in counting Last but the flank is already in and now Spike spike in no man's a. land 30 seconds to go and Porg I mean on a prayer here 30 seconds left time is running out there's no time to be walking Location is known. 20 seconds, and it feels like CSP's life count has run out. There's no time to be walking. And that's it. They found my trap. That is it. The defenders know it. And that is CSP dropping game number one of this BO3, 13-9 being the final score. We're going to take a short break.
But when we come back, game two and map two on the cards. Thank you all for joining us. This has been the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bear stream. I've been your caster Skepter. Joining me as always, well, not as always, but as of recently, my man Sin Stuff. Thanks for being here. Yep, thanks for having me. It was an excellent game.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Concordia St. Paul Golden Bears broadcast. I'm your host and caster, Skepter. Joining me today, Sin Stuff. How's it going? We just got done with game one on Fracture, and now we are getting into Icebox for game two of our night. Yeah, tough first match. Really close. Came down to the wire. Great defending side on the first half. Uh, not able to pick up the rounds that we needed, though, on that attacker side, but I did like... What I saw coming out from Elusive Elephant's Viper and Worthless's aim, really. Um, going yeah, into a strong Jen map for CSP. Seen them win this one Flash pretty no often one against most I'll other take her and her team down. Uh, schools and teams. And honestly, I, I feel like this one's going to go to CSP. That's just where I'm putting my bets. Yeah, you know, this is definitely CSP's highest uh, win percentage map, without a doubt in my mind. Uh, Definitely see them get the W more often than not when they end up on Icebox. It might just be a Minnesota thing. Boys from the North, <laughs> Snow yeah, Warriors, whatever way you want to spin it. It's CSP coming out with the W in the column. So getting it underway on the attack side pistol here, folks. 0-0 zero, zero is the score in that KO. Knight's going to spot out at least three Golden Bears off rip here. Viper walls out, but it's looking like we're taking it right back out. Goosey finding a nice pick. Yes, sir. Right on, on the KO. money. That's a huge find for CSP to start out on the pistol here. Taps out the Killjoy turret, and now the rest of the Golden Bears are pushing out towards the main here. Wall comes out from Wall board. Up, but there's a gap. Yeah, a dirty little gap. Yeah, fine. Reloading. 4v4 now, Golden Bears with a man. Very low on HP. Goosey trying to get back to watch flank now. Playing together. One enemy Swing, remaining. Akira finds two. Last you know player last under mid. Flank. Reloading. Oh. Yep, 10 oh. towards Akira the flank. Pick. Dalton. Finds one spotted Goosey for sure. Just back up, play time. Has so far that. to run and no time on the clock for the retake. CSP gonna walk away with round number one. It's a really good shot from Goosey, man. That opening shot with the Sheriff was Continue to quite fight. remarkable. Continue to win. Right here. I think that also kept the defenders over right towards here. the A bomb yeah. site for a little bit longer as well. We only saw Resistance from what looked like the jet and here. Killjoy. Here. Right here. I believe. Right here. Yeah, definitely a later rotate. Hey, and now the Golden Force. Bears. Hey, yep, went in pistol, so gonna have a pretty solid inventory. Spectres and Marshall is gotta have a major higher winner percentage than the classics dealt to the defenders on the other side so gonna see if Goosey can get things going with the marshal here divine swine in hand but it's gonna be KO taking out Akira big find with the classic man you can never doubt a classic worthless we'll trade it back though golden bears 4v4 swinging into the back site taking out another it's interesting to see the I believe it was the Brimstone, Dalton R, switching up to a Sage. Yeah. One enemy remaining. Ooh, worthless. He was Ooh, one of worthless. the most instrumental. Uh, On for the ace. Minus fifth. He's having... One for the ace. Only one more kill needed. And to whoever... The other casters on the NECC stream that said living up to his name have that one on for size. Guys, Worthless. So Picking up an ace here in the second round, doing absolute work with the Spectre and getting a 2-0 lead for the Golden Bears. What up, Big baby? Starts. Big starts in these first initial rounds. The pistol rounds, the bonus rounds. I Clip it really and ship like it. The... <laughs> 
I really like the team play and the aggression in these early rounds. They really play well off of each other. Oh yeah. We're going to do our bonus round. Now, Golden Bear is going to be in a trickier situation working with these SMGs against the Vandals and Phantoms of their counterpart. Big round for Worthless though. Definitely an emotional player, so when he's on, that kind of a round can really get him going for the rest of the game. So, gonna have to watch out for the Sato player. Reloading. Reloading. Things down no. towards B. Reloading. An awful lot of noise. So looking to get this plant with no wall up. Collapse and capitalize on this. Already on the bomb, the rifle works out. 2v5. Last player standing. Ooh, NT. You need to pick one up there. Getting the plant, not terrible. They were on the bonus, so rifle's gonna be coming out next round. Need the tank. Continue to give us needed. vision, Silva. This guy with the Seeker, Silva with his ult already. Yeah, only the Blade Storm on the defender side. So, 2 1 lead in the way of CSP. Goosey has his operator in hand and historically has done very well playing out towards Belt here early on here. with the operator, has found picks time and time again. So, excited to see what this jet can add to the Golden Bears offense here in round number four. Swap through the jet, swap through the jet. They call the weight out the knife. Here he goes. Seekers are out. Seekers early. Sky will Kale go down. Up close. Standing ahead. Mines is one. Falls up. Getting aided out early. Nothing being given over. Goosey holding back. Will get blinded. Elusive finds one, but gets traded out. This KO, a menace with the Guardian. Finds a third as well. Oh, Ultimate is popped. Flash. Last player there. Can't find the wow. The KO with a 4K. Oh, yeah. We grabbed the operator as well. Show me where to go. And adding a little extra. Two to two is the score line, and it's feeling a lot like deja vu. I believe we were here just last game on Fracture. A little bit of a two-two start. Interesting position, and it does not bode well for the side of CSP. Our money's looking worse for wear. Got to be thinking about a potential save. Not everybody's going to be able to buy on this round. So Let's take what they have. Yep. Light buy is in for the side of the attackers once more. Was looking to find one on long, gets nothing. Spike down mid. That spike oh, is down. Oh, there's no damage. Fighting a second. Heal. Spotted to trade this out. Dueling shot. Headshot angle. Last player standing. Spikes down. And the golden bear is just him to share. A little bit not on the same page here on this eco going up to that operator one at a time and that's just the opposite way of challenging an op right if you're gonna go for it it has to be everybody committing right the first man dying is the signal of all right it's our turn to take him out now right it can't be after he has time to pull back you know and reload another shot it, you just give him too much respect and that's the kind of wall you end up running into goosey able to get the blade storm and Hunting to pull it out, so going aggressive, still an opportunity. If he can find one early, going aggressive, I like it. Oh, not going to be able to find any more. A 3k for his troubles, and a good attempt nonetheless. Look at me, I know that I am by your side. A full buy yeah, around the corner. Yeah, man, that's just tough. That's uh, That op is usually a struggle for the side of CSP. In the past, you know, when they're on this attacker side, you know, we got to start implementing more of that jiggling system or that jump peeking system. It's too easy for these oppers to just rip that slow walking shot, right? It's an opper's dream. So yep, CSP switching it up and trying to go aggressive Welcome B here. But a Viper's Boy, pit popped instantly and that, yep, has to be a B ultimate. Sova 
Shots him with the dart and CSP now waiting. Plank is on. Big ass. down. Worthless finds one on the flank. Nate comes out. I like where Elusive's at. Lurking up in the kitchen. Looking for that rotate. Mike is down. Wall is up. It's a 5v4. Late storm on jet. No other ultimates to use on the defender's side. Spotted at Snowman. Ruthless goes down on the flank. Kira picks up KJ coming from mid. Worrying about uh, Snowman CSP. here. In a tricky spot, split on both fronts. Sova goes for the duel, Kira comes out on that. top. Big win. No man can One enemy here. remaining. Wall goes down. Flanker's killed. The last one's in mid. A jet up. Time is ticking. Looks like the op is going to be saved. This round goes to CSB, bringing it back to a 3v or a 3-3 scoreboard. Yeah, man, that's a big win. The op gonna get saved for the defender, so getting away with a little bit of a reward there. But now CSP get the round. That's big. That's exactly what they needed. Able to tie it up here. And still going to have money going into this round. They have to be careful for that op. I mean, it's really been the difference maker for this defender side. 10 and 3 for that jet. And really been packing a punch so far on Icebox. Ooh, I'm looking at the scoreboards here. Deploying drone. Lots of kills up towards the Euclair top two players. Owner three. Seemingly dragging their feet. Because 10 10 did a really good job last game. Revealing so definitely just not Locking having sight. the same effect there here on are. Icebox so far, but plenty of game time left and still, I mean, a 3 3 scoreline at that. That operator just doing so much work for the side of Blue Gold Eau Claire. Info coming out from Sova. Rotate has been called. Wipers pit available. Yeah, five players. Towards the A site. KJ Nades are out. Bomb goes down. Wipers pit called in. 5v4. 4v4 now. A great wall as well. Big gap in the side of that wall. Big enough to walk through. Those elephants looking to find something here. Hoping they don't check this, praying they don't check this. Spray coming out from screens. One spot from the mini map. Beautiful Finds shot. His pick. Great hold from these developments. Out. Trying to trade this out. The operator gets saved. Right. Both players go down, but is there enough time? No, there's one enemy so. remaining. And both and go down, not gonna get away as well. Big play to CSP, big play to Elusive Elephants, working the flank, keeping them honest, worried about the flank, and coming out on top, what a back and forth game we're having here, and a timeout called in early, Oh, okay, player definitely getting their fair share of timeouts in tonight, and why not, you know, if you think it's the right play for your team, I'm never opposed to it. I definitely see the advantages it can give a team that needs to kind of snap back into their element, you know? Absolutely. But around like that, you know, that does, it's like you have uh, a player in maze for the retaker's perspective. You could have tried to get a tap in earlier on the spike and it gives you a whole lot better of an opportunity, forces the hand of the attackers. They have to kind of peek into you, make sure you're not on that spike. So. CSP sure. looking to continue the tide here. Two rounds unanswered in a one round lead for their troubles. Still got that Sova ult and the Seekers up, so looking to see something big come out of that. Hopefully, get some early info and secure this fifth round. Or, sorry, this <laughs> eighth round. Yeah. Excited to see what CSP 
is going to go for. Take flight. Kira slow working towards Bravo himself. Really drone, a full spot out Jets Marshall. Seekers available, like you said. Sage spotted out towards the A site. Ooh, gonna get tagged. Tag Trouble. Off. Good job getting away. Seekers called in as well. Just keeps starting to siege. Cloud burst is out from Goosey. Going aggressive. Golden Bear slowly but surely getting onto this A site. Going to get the spike down shortly. Nice spray from Goosey. Spots one out mid. Knives are out. Ooh. Bonks his head. Tries to jump up but will get sniped out of the sky from Jet on the flank is Rudolph. Goes down and oh my goodness, what a shot from Duckrar. Or Duckrar. Man. Big plays to both sides. Both teams punching back and forth and something about these thrifties for Eau Claire tonight. Doing some there. work Can't against the side it. of CSP Black as we are tied up again at four rounds different. apiece and money really? not looking pretty for this attacker side. Certainly tough losing rounds like those. Money's gotta just not save. there. Help yep, a girl gotta be a out, save. Would you? Kira she thinks about a guardian, but that still looks like spending a little bit too much. Might be short for economy on the next round. Really banking on that, so we shall see Goosey working up mid with the sheriff in hand. Ooh, early spotting from Sage. KO holding down boiler. CSP have not been too straightforward and decisive on their hits as of recently. Kind of been slowing down their gameplay. On an eco round, I'd love to see him kind of explode and pick up that tempo again. Drone out now, and the sage wall is in. Horg and yeah. Goosey go down simultaneously. That's gotta hurt this push. 3v5 now. Ultis are not in their favor, neither is the weapon rate. Nice pick from Worthless, though. Toxins failing. Spike down A. Nice shot, Akira. 2v3 now. Big flash. That's that. Swings from Raptor. Worthless can't land the shot. That's a 5-4 lead. Man. This is a, a very even match, nonetheless, between a these two squads. The farm would do these yeah, it feels like it's round really been back and forth, just trading blows round for round. And that's just the way the money works as well. You know, you keep getting put off on your, your buy round. It's the other team with the gun advantage. And now DSP back with the rifle upgrades. And hopefully going to get back on the track. Worthless has been Don't lurking a lot brown. here on this initiator. Two off an ultimate. Holding the mid flank. Interested to see how they approach. Starting to walk towards B and Worthless just holding the A flank. Quiet start. Nothing spotted early at yellow. The dart is out. Not finding anything. Yeah, we can the check over at the called. B site. Viper Shoot. finds a pick with a short. <gasps> KO ult comes out. Viper gets traded out, but KO finds his. It's a 3v4. Worthless on the other site. Holding towards mid here. Walking up Elusive to, elephant starting to bring Spike back towards A. Lucy finds one. Piss off. Big shot. Two on me. Blinded. Knows that jets and spawn. CSP just need to make Lucy up their mind here. So split 30 seconds up as left. Elusive was walking all the way back to A. Should have been staying with the teammate that whole time. Now in a three on two. And they do have res available. Jet spotted towards CT. Nice 
trying to hold down mid here. One enemy remaining. Goosey eliminates the healer, and that is a massive pickup for CSP. 3v1 now. Worthless pushing in to CT, looking to seal the deal. Full catch Jet unaware, but the spray's not there and gonna go down. Man, a blunder coming out. Like a good round so far. But still, just... yeah. CSP should be in control here. Able to yep. close out. Close. Down to those close plants. See, Man, the close. Offer. They go for this trade at the end of the round. Oh, it's gonna but get tagged. That's unlucky. Bomb. Man, what an unlucky round there for CSP. Nobody's they get the round win, but in the end, it's so costly money-wise. And they're not in a position that to afford that. It's so hurtful in the long run. Good good round, though. Able to tie it up once again here. 5-5. Five, five and, you know, they still have a lot of ultimates, right? So Absolutely. definitely able to pull something together here. Yep. One, one Marshall buy with light I'm armor. Gone. Oh, Nando buy with light armor. Ultimates, like you said, they've got those seekers for info if they want it. They've got the Silva ult for post plant, the res, so they can play a little more aggressive if they want. I feel. But it's just nice that they got the nice five-five tie to bank off of. Hopefully they can make it a six-five. Pockets. Dalton, two big picks yeah. with the sheriff. That's nuts, Shutting man. down that A push. Not CSP have red. Gonna you go for it. They have to protect their body here. Killjoy called in as well. Ray Definitely gonna have to down. get out of dodge here for the side of CSP. Have the Sky Seekers available if they need him. One in spawn though. Wow, two Spike down hit kills a. picked up from Last the KO. That's a huge standing. start. Jet gonna follow it up with the operator as well. Now a 1v4. Porg. How do you get this one turned around? CSP stuck. Here's footsteps all around him. Has to pick up one early. Can't find this spray. Dalton has just been a menace this whole series, man. Last round yes. before the switch. We lose everything Duke after Rar, this. Duck Rar. Wow, nice 18 and 3? Fracture. Yep. Man. It's a tough I didn't know it was that. One. That's a uh, big plays coming out. Final round of the half. CSP going to have to pour everything they have into it. Ultimates on their side so i really want to see them team up and take advantage of these ultimates advantage the you know you gotta catch these defenders it. off by surprise why not pop a seeker and have the jet follow it aggressively with the blade storm yeah, the seekers are out but they're a little bit behind without the sacrifice opener huge start <laughs> Goosey spots one out towards the back of the Nailed site. Goosey nice headshot. A nice headshot on the Viper, clearing it out. Big opener for well, the man. Not Peeking wall. out towards Finds yellow, gonna get another. What a That's chat on the case. jet. <laughs> we do love a good knife headshot. Those one tasks just feel so satisfying. Oh yeah, they talk about my... They talk about my one tasks. Bomb is down. We do have Sova ult for One post enemy so remaining. Playing aggressive. Finds the KJ, making it a 3v1. Sage counter walling up. It's picked off by Akira. Good place from CSP. It's gonna come out with a 6 6. Man, and we, you know, yeah, that's, that's the kind of half that gets you starting to think about hey, we're going to map 3, right? CSP making it happen right now, tying this one up. They're down from map number one, so definitely need to find the win here in game number two if they want to push things to a game number three tonight, folks. Setting up the defenses. Sage getting ready to wall off Tube. Viper holding it down over towards Bravo on the solo defense. And stacking over towards A. Goosey on the headshot angle. Can he find the Golden Bears a cheeky advantage? Goosey finds this pick early on. This might be huge. With the KO knife, not going to find any defenders. Nothing, Nothing early spotted at spotted with the dart either, so it maybe might be a, a slow fake. B. Yeah, definitely has that look to it. 
Jet spotted crossing mid. Headshot. Gonna get taken out by Worthless. Big opener from the man on the sky. And CSP encroaching onto this B site right Spike away. Planted. They are ready for it. Spike is planted. Goosey on the rotate. Another picked up from Akira. Two man advantage for the side of CSP. Planted. Let's see how it's going at the site. Good flash out from the sky. Man. The walls are up. There they are. Yeah, what is going on? Can't see a thing oh, out here. Smoke. Big flash. No needs to get on this bomb. Dalton from the top. half Enemy box remaining. goes down. Killjoy just left at B main. We'll find another in the 1v2 now. Very tricky spot. Swings out through the smoke. Will dash to yellow. The spike is half trying to get the stick. Worthless doesn't have the cover he needs from Elusive. Time ticking away. You gotta make it happen. Elusive goes for the kill, but that's not enough. Tough round loss in that pistol round. The reload isn't called. What stick must be done. It's too late. It looked like he didn't go for a stick, really. It looked like he got off of that to go for the kill, but I think yeah. that's the wrong, wrong play there. there. Just yeah. play, play body bag, you know? Block it out for the KJ to try and absorb some of that damage, hopefully. Yeah, before, that's just... You know, that's just a miscom, right? You know, you, the team is what teammate is. was sticking it and then got off for that half second hesitation. And that's just the small, you know, the small hesitation Ending of the ahead. round that ends up costing it for the Golden Bears. They were right there, almost about to take that. But now an A rush coming in quickly. Goosey will go down. Worthless playing up close. Last player on the site pushes out and will get dropped as well. Porg finds one. What more can you offer, son? Getting flashed off the angle. Spike planted. Last player standing. Thinks the KO. Elusive finds two. Finding two. One v two now. I mean, still a winnable round. If he finds another, there's a real shot here, folks. Six to seven. This could be a huge round if the man on the Viper can pull this one off. Has to start moving quicker though. Killjoy utility gonna be channeled. Time ticking away. Spots one out towards top nest. Takes the ropes over and the James Bond frag is in. Killjoy, 10-10, pushing it to 8-6. And Eau Claire walking away with a two round lead now, Sin. Starting to look troublesome for the side of CSP. Like a rough one, but I think they can take this back. We're on our bottom round here, if I'm not mistaken. More money in the tank. I think them winning this round is absolutely crucial. Yep. It's getting the economy back and hopefully securing another round to bring this two round two round uh, deficit back to the one. Well, Elusive elephants. Really the aggression on pipes from that jet. Pipe comes out. Nothing's found. A push out. Cost the and and duck bar, man. Spike just planted. going off. Just getting these early entries. Making it tough to hold down the site. For you. Push. Push. From Maze. Last player standing. And CSP is getting wiped out. A flawless round. And I don't even think that was a full buy. From Eau Claire. That is a devastating right. round. A devastating round dealt to the Golden Bears there. Now forced back onto an eco man, and that's gotta hurt. Both financially and on the mental. So the boys are gonna have to band together here. And come up with something, you know, you we gotta got switch it up. Yep, it's certainly been a tough one. Bye bye coming out. Knife's out A. But the Viper wall committed wall B. towards B. Plus, standing in the open here. All up. Ball's back to Snowman, looking to make this a retake for B. Counter wall is out. Sage wall is up. Yep, trap has been hurt. Spike planted. Kira finds his one. A duck rar. Laps back. 
up yellow one to the right as well. Sage trading shots with worthless pork now trying to peek out from back sight. Duckrar finding another man is jet. It's just been on a mad one this game. Elusive pushing up to yellow now. Swings finds the first, can't Last find the second. Standing. Duckrar on for the ace, only Goosey to find. Trying to peek out back sight. And it's Duckrar finding the ace here. Big round for the enemy jet. Let's get these idiots. Man. Big pickups in that round. CSP were on a save, so definitely going to be able to buy here. And this is a must win round if I gotta be honest, and you're down six ten now. Yep, Mor has to be morale a start. And it's gonna be tough. Yeah. Morale's been chipped away. Let's see if CSP can hold it together. Worthless. Trying yeah. to get up on this. Yeah, he's he's just jumping here. too early, man. He's, he's just jumping too early. Gives up a few rounds. Uh. And there it is. Picks just found by Dalton. Them. The re-aggression was there. I liked I liked that play. You should run. There's nothing to follow it up. Teammates playing up close with him. AJ out. I've just not been on the same page. I mean, you know, there's there's no team holding off of teammate. Spike planted. Now forced into a 3v5 retake, and this is gonna be trouble. And Elusive just mollied off the team on accident, and that's time ticking so away. Is one. Able to call no ah. util from the defense. One less. Worthless one against second. And a third. Winnable. Winnable round. Seekers. It's been popped. Better pop the Seekers now. For the duel. Last player standing. The Viper lineups and KJ lineups are just too much. One enemy remaining. For the ace, though. Pull caps. <laughs> Not gonna find it. Another tough Watch round. Them run when Man, down six That's eleven. When we strike. Twenty nine and seven for Duck Rar. Yeah, that is mental. Those two, I feel on Euclid's uh, side of things. Yeah, you're not lying. I mean, last game on the Rays, uh, Thick was putting in work. And Duckrar, I mean, the breach to this jet performance, absolutely looking like the MVP of the series so far here tonight. 100%. Oh, uh, just been on a different level. Worthless doing what he can, but, you know, the decision making just coming out a little bit late from the CSP side, they got to start moving a little bit faster, especially after the, the spike head? is planted. Where can spot the head right there? I don't think he did either. Found one. Spike planted. Just come out. Spike's already planted. Elusive's got to get over here on the double time. Lucy finding one in maze. Last player standing. Goes Clap down. Back. Down to one to four. Yeah, this is just looking like GSP life is running out here once more. A 4K for Duckrar into the 30s now on the frag department. Match point. If you and money is looking atrocious right. for our boys Fair on CSP. Eventually. One rifle, two rifles going to be the best they can bring into it. And it's a it, tough one. Yeah, going to need going to need something massive to pull it back. Goosey thinking about the blade storm. And not even getting right, set up in time here. Yep. I think right here is where you pop a pre work, you get the blade storm running, then tap some heads. There you, you gotta go. turn it around here. Yeah, I mean, something. There's no just, really aggression you know, at A. Just be shots the over at rotate. B. Lots of util being committed towards B. You know what's going to be a big play. Goosey's still over on A. Rotates the call though. Flashes out. Find one. Drop drop yellow. He's been doing the end from that spot. Spike planted. He finds a tag there. Big pick, pick up. Pick. Find a follow up. Last 
player standing. Yet. Gets taken out from CT, and now it's just four in a 1v3. Utility is against him. Man count is against him. He's gonna go down. 13-6 final. CSP falling 2-0 to Blue Gold B. Eau Claire, Wisconsin tonight, folks. Thank you all for coming out. As always, I've been your caster, Skepter. Thanks for joining me. Joey, send stuff. As always, it was a pleasure. What are your thoughts on the night? Overall, I feel like there was good performance from both teams. Uh, the first round, or the first map, was a lot closer than this Icebox match. Um, my money, uh, my money that I put down, definitely gone. But uh, I liked the performance for both teams. CSP certainly had some great plays. I feel like the team play was really there in the first round or the first map. Uh, Fractured defense went really well, and honestly, the uh, attack side of Icebox wasn't too bad. Um, but you know, just those rounds where you've got the bomb down, you've got the post plant and the communication or something, you know, just isn't there that misconnect, the disconnect between teammates just makes it so tough to pick up those rounds that are absolutely crucial towards getting a lead. I really felt like it was blow for blow between both of these guys, you know, both rounds or round for round between both teams. Yeah. No, I mean, I must agree. You know, CSP definitely had their looks in the first game, and they went in tied 6-6 at the end of that first half. So definitely just uh, faltering hard on that defensive side. Never really set up on time. Never really calling for big switch-ups on the defense. And failing to make those adaptions will cost you a game like that. Definitely a winnable game nonetheless, but not going to go the way of CSP tonight. Thank you all again for coming out. We'll catch you guys next time on the CSP Golden Bears stream. Thanks for coming out. We'll see you guys soon. Have a great night.